So I'm actually going to contour with, and I'm sure a lot of people have already heard about these. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Are those the right way? Can you read them? Yeah. Pro Conceal <laughs> Concealers. And I'll just tell you, they're really, there's a huge line of colors to begin with. And not only that, but they're really good to contour with. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to contour with these today. The shade that I have here is Espresso. What I'm going to do first is you kind of want to, because everybody's face shape is not the same. I'm going to contour with what I think looks right for my own face. And obviously, if you have more of a round face, you might want to chisel in your cheeks a little bit more. If you have a larger nose, you might want to make your nose look thinner. Um, and those are all things that you can do with just the right shading, basically. You want to do the darker contour colors anywhere where you don't want it to look light on your face. And you'll do the lighter colors where you want to highlight and kind of pick, you know, things up on your face. An example, say you want to look like you have a little bit more of a chiseled cheekbone, maybe for a rounder face or someone who doesn't feel like they have um, high cheekbones. You'll apply some contour dark and then you'll put light right here. And that way it'll give you more of a lifted, bright look. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate right now. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to look at the edge of your ear. Okay, that will give you a great concept of where you should apply the dark. So here it looks like you will, or me, you apply the dark at a diagonal angle starting from your ear. Okay, so I'm going to apply a little bit more now that I have my basic idea. And then basically what you want to do is you kind of want to create an L. It's like a sideways L shape. Next, what I like to do is I like to take a little bit right down the side of my face to kind of try and mask any kind of like, oops, Try to mask any kind of double chin that I definitely have. Okay. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the lighter color. And this one in particular is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Yellow Corrector. And so what I'm going to do now is write... in the little gap and right here I'll put a little bit of a lighter color so I'm only doing half of my face just so you guys can get a good look at it and we'll do um, obviously a comparison with contour and without and then I'll do the rest put a little bit right here so basically this is what I have to work with when it comes to contour this is where I'm going to start blending oh the and I will put a tad bit just a small line down the side of my nose and when you do a little line down the side of both, obviously I'll do both sides, but when you do it down the side of your nose and you just bring it down to the tip, it absolutely makes your nose look a bit smaller. It really does, especially when you add a white line or white line, the light color right down the center. See what I'm talking about? So now I'm going to take my Morphe blending brush and I'm just in circular motions. I like to be going outwards and up, never pull down on your face. 
and just kind of blend that in. And I'm going to be focusing on the dark first. Okay, moving on to this side. Circular motions. And I know at first it's going to look really dark, but you just keep blending. That's really the key is to keep blending circular motions, not wiping motions. And then you'll go. Now the hairline gets a little tricky because obviously all these baby hairs. So you'll just want to kind of like pat and pull, pat and pull it up into your hairline. And of course you can do the circular motions too, just if you don't want to mess up your hair. Next, I'm going to take a smaller brush here. And this is also from the Morphe Contour Kit and I'm going to contour one side of my nose. My daughter got into this. Doesn't she get into everything though? Okay, and we'll do light stroking motions to try and help blend that in. I like to take the warmth of my finger because it really does warm up the product if it's kind of dried out a little bit and just pat the corner like right here in this little corner I like to pat it with my finger get it warmed up and blend it a little bit better and then you'll do the same thing with the line down your nose is you'll just pat it and you can obviously, you can use a brush too. But for all of you beginners who don't have as many brushes, it's cool to use your fingers. I'm not anti-finger. I realize that there's bacteria on your fingers, but there's bacteria everywhere. And as long as you practice sanitary conditions like washing your hands and making sure you wash them before you apply your makeup, you should be okay. Next, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to do the light color. I'm going to take this pointed brush here. This is also on the Morphe contour kit. Ladies, if you don't have any contour brushes already, you might want to run out to Morphe or go online and order it. I think the brush set is $22.99 and it's on sale. So why not? And so now I'm just kind of patting the light color in. foundation brush but I just realized I didn't wash this because my daughter had gotten into my bronzer and like it's not clean but I would typically use like a flatter brush just to get it pushed in more and then the same thing here I'm kind of dragging it right underneath my contour line just to clean it up a little bit Okay, now see, contoured side, non-contoured side. And that definitely gives me, and you want it to look natural too, I know. I realize you don't want it to look too muddy. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Everything. 
everything looks pretty blended and contoured. Next, I'm going to go in with powder to set it. So a favorite of mine is I really like MAC Skin Finish Give Me Sun. And this is obviously well used. I really love it. I'm going to just take a smaller, like fluffy brush. And you could also use just your basic blush brush. You just want to make sure you get the product on just the tip and just lightly do it. You don't want to go overboard. This just gives you a little bit more precision. And you just want to lightly, lightly go in where you put your original dark contour. Next thing that I'm going to do now that I've used my powder is I'm going to apply a highlighter. So I'm just going to use the one that was in, as you can tell, look at what my kid did, of course. I'm just going to use a champagne kind of highlighter and I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to tap it right on the cupids though. Now what I also like to do is I like to take my small brush again. I like to apply a tad bit of highlighter right on the little two parts that go up, up into your nose kind of. I can't think of what it's called. It's the little lines above your cupid's bow. And then I wanna also put a tad bit of highlighter just right down the center of my nose. See, and now I'm just highlighting everywhere where I want the sun to hit or where the sun naturally hits. This is called a fan brush. And how you use this is you can use it to lightly like dust powder on or off. So I'm going to be dusting the highlighter on and I'm going to be dusting it right above where I just did the contour and you don't want to take it in too far because then that gets into your eye area and it can definitely pick up um, some shadows so you just want to lightly apply and then the same thing on the other side If you want to take it a step further, you could apply the tiniest amount right above the arch of your brow. And there you have contouring. Now for me, what I'm going to do, and please excuse all of the like sound that goes we're having a rainstorm and the rain is going crazy against my window right now and I can't help that. This is the only place I have to film, so I'm sorry about that. I'm actually going to just apply a tiny bit of blush. This one is by Tarte and it is called Ecstatic. I got it in a holiday collection. And I'm just right at the apples. I always like to do like, I would say fake smile. And just right at the apples of my cheeks. Apply that. So now that I have all of that done, I'm going to give myself a spritz. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And honestly, I like to give myself a spritz because what it does is it really makes it not look quite as powdery. And then you can have more of like a dewy contoured look, which I really enjoy. If you have any other suggestions on what you would like to see and learn, please let me know down below in the comments. I do read my comments. I'm super interactive with everybody and I'm just
just curious to know what you guys want to see anyway, because I'm making these videos for you. What I'm going to move on next is I'm going to show you how to create an ombre lip. And that will conclude my lesson for beginners.